Welcome to Wisdom for the Day, the podcast where we unpack the timeless wisdom of the book of Proverbs, one bite-sized nugget at a time. Join us daily as we journey through this ancient treasure trove of insight, offering practical wisdom for modern living. Get ready to start your day with clarity, purpose, and a deeper understanding of life's greatest lessons. This is Wisdom for the Day, your daily dose of Proverbs wisdom. Today is day 115. We're in the 11th chapter of the book of Proverbs, verses 15 and 16 from the New Living Translation. There's danger in putting up security for a stranger's debt. It's safer not to guarantee another person's debt. A gracious woman gains respect, but ruthless men gain only wealth. In verse 15, we should make a promise only if we can carry out our promise. Many people ask about the benefits that a Christian receives. These verses compare kind people with the cruel people. People respect a kind person. Proverbs does not explicitly endorse using collateral for loans, but it warns against doing so for unfamiliar individuals as it often leads to personal detriment when the borrower defaults. Defaulting on a loan is considered a breach of faith, constituting a sinful act. In contemporary post-Christian societies, loan defaults and bankruptcy are not necessarily immoral, and sometimes they're seen as savvy financial strategies. But the repercussions of extensive collateralization particularly in the realm of defaulted student loans, are now manifesting as a burden in American society. Verse 16 presents an unexpected twist. It contrasts the honor according to gracious women with the wealth attained by violent men. And while this proverb seems to imply that violent men get rich, it reflects the reality rather than divine approval. Now, although people possess free will, they remain accountable for their actions. And even if violent people amass wealth, they're ultimately going to f- face a judgment of a higher authority from God. So let me ask you, are you burdened by significant debt? If you are, do you have a plan to repay it? Do you prioritize the repayment of student loans as highly as a mortgage or credit card debt? Just asking. Well, that's all for today, but I'll be back tomorrow with some more of Solomon's wise teaching. For free Wisdom of the Day merch, head to buymeacoffee.com forward slash renewed mindsets and consider becoming a community member. If you like this show, please tell someone about it and share it with them. The executive producer of Wisdom for the Day is Yelena McClellan. Intro music by Weston McCurry. Until tomorrow, I'm Rick. I love you. See ya.